Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 35th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to talk about functions, not predefined functions in Python but user defined functions, the ones that you can create and use uh, you know for the sake of your own convenience, right? So a function, you know those of you who haven't programmed in any other language before is a block of code that performs some task and uh, can be called you know by a name. You can you know give a name to you know, a piece of code and you can call it whenever you need it in your program, right? And uh, the main advantage of using functions is uh, the usability of code. So, you know, what I mean by that is if suppose, you know, there is something that you want to do in your program a bunch of times, let's say you want to, you know, uh, find the product of two numbers 10 times, then instead of, you know, using the multiplication operator 10 times, you know, you could create a function in which you have the operation performed and you can you know just call that function 10 times you know with 10 different sets of arguments and you could find you know the products of numbers so you know this is a very small example that i gave you you know generally people use functions when they want to do something complicated over and over again right so you know this is different from from a loop by the way you know in case of a loop you have different iterations with different inputs you know with a function you know you have the same thing happening over and over again but you know you can vary the inputs to the function if you want to so anyway that's enough of me talking the way you create a function in python is by using the def keyword or you know the define keyword and uh, you know you type in that you give a space and then you type in a name for your function so i'm going to call the first function that we're going to make in this program as sample and let's say this function takes in you know some value right from the program so you know let's assume that that value is uh, you know a string and you know through this function we just want to display that string on screen right so i'm just going to type in text here and this is a placeholder for the value that we're going to pass to this function after the closing parentheses of the argument list i'm going to put in a colon and when i press the enter key i'll get inside the body of this function and since i just want to print the text that has been passed to this function i simply use a print statement and within parentheses i'll just type in text right and uh, the next thing that I'm going to do is type in return, right? So this is important in Python. When you want to get out of a function's body, you have to type in this keyword. And when I press the enter key, I see that the cursor blinks on the previous level of indentation, right? So, you know, this is where I came from and this is where I am now, right? So this means that I'm outside the body of the function sample. And uh, to call this function, all I have to do is, you know, type in the name of the function and uh, you know as an argument to this i'll have to pass in some text right so i'm simply going to pass in hello world and i'll save the file and when i run the program i see that i get the text hello world on screen right so this was the simplest example of function that i could think of you know it just takes some text input as an argument and it just displays that text on screen right now it's not necessary for your function to take in some argument so let's say you know I am not going to pass anything to this function and uh, you know I'm just going to use a print statement in the function to display some text you know so uh, I'll display something like uh, I will print this no matter what so even if you don't pass in an argument to me I'm still going to print this I'll save the file and uh, you know since I haven't written a placeholder here within the parentheses, I don't have to pass in any argument, so I can get rid of this string argument that I have in here. And I'll save the file now, and when I execute it, I see this text. So this is, despite the fact that I haven't passed in any text to the function, you know, but since I have a print statement in the function, and since I have called the function using its name, you know, this statement will execute, you know, when the function's called, right? The next thing that we're going to do is we are going to see how we can create a function that takes in more than one argument, right? So we're going to make a four function calculator. And uh, what I mean by that is we're going to make a function that takes in two numbers and then it performs the addition operation, subtraction operation, multiplication and division on those two numbers, you know, in a sequence. So I'm going to call this function calculator. And, uh, you know, in the parameter list, I'm going to type in a comma b so these are my dummy parameters or you know placeholders or whatever you want to call them and uh, then on the next line i'm going to use a print statement to display the result of the addition of a and b right so addition i'll put a colon after the second double quotation mark i'll put a comma and then i'll type in a plus b and i'll just copy this uh, statement and paste it a few times okay wait a second i'll have to you know do this and then one more time 
and you know one more time okay so the second case has to be for subtraction so i'll get rid of addition here and type in subtraction and i have to change this to a minus b and this has to be for multiplication so i'll change addition to multiplication and this has to be changed to a asterisk b an asterisk is the multiplication operator and the last has to be for division so i'll change addition to division and the operator to the slash right i'll save the file and on the next line i type in return move out of the function and now i'll simply call the function with the uh, let's say 155 comma 25 as a two argument so i save it again and when i run the program i see you know all these four operations performed and i see all the results so addition the result is 180 subtraction the result is uh, 130 multiplication the result is 3875 and division result is 6.2 right so now we are in a better state to talk about the utility of functions so you know let's say in your program you want to do these things uh, 100 times then you know if you were not using functions then you would have to type in these statements you know 100 times 4 that is 400 times but since you're using functions all you have to do is you have to you know just call your function by typing in its name and if suppose you know in each of those 100 times you wanted to you know have different sets of numbers you could pass in different numbers as arguments right so you know that's how cool functions are and you know i don't necessarily have to go back to the script and execute it you know with different inputs so let's say if i want to you know call the function uh, calculator with 25 and 5 as inputs you know i can do it this way by going to the script and executing it or i could simply type in calculator here and you know have in uh, my you know arguments here so 25 and 5 when i do that i get this and you know this is because the shell was restarted here and this function was called and then the calculator function was kind of stored in the memory so you know now you have access to it but if i would you know press control and f6 and restart my shell and now if i would you know try to use the function calculator with the sum input like 15 and 3 you know i would get an error because you know now the shell has been restarted so this function no longer exists in the buffer memory or whatever right and uh, the significance of the return statement is not just that you know it gets you out of the function body but you know it could also you know be used to pass an expression back to the calling function or you know the main program you know if 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 you call the function in the main program so you know if that sounds complicated let me just show you something so let's say you know in this calculator uh, function you don't want to you know find out all these things instead you just want to find out you know what is the result of a raised to the power b right so you know i'll type in a variable name here and assign the result of a raised to the power b to that variable so i'll use the exponentiation operator or the double asterisk symbol and i'll type a double asterisk and then b and you know i'll type in return to move out of the function but after the word return i'll type in var so in a way i'm uh, instructing python that i want to get outside the function body but i also want to return this value that i've just computed on line number two right and uh, while calling the function what i'll do is i'll call it inside the print statement to display the value so i'm not using the print statement inside the function here so i'll have to use it outside in the main program and i would have to call this function with some argument right so i'll type in calculator and uh, as arguments to it i'll pass 6 comma 3 so you know this function will calculate 6 to the power 3 for me i'll save the file when i run it I should see 216 as the answer and that's what I see right so that's one more thing that you can do using the return statement so anyway that's said uh, for now in the next tutorial we are going to talk about uh, functions in a little more detail we're going to talk about what's the difference between you know passing by reference and passing by value and what happens in python you know whether we pass by reference in python or whether we pass by value and uh, I hope you guys had fun watching this tutorial you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I'll see you in the next video till then take care